All right, so I'm just gonna have to do with the air. It's so warm. Hey, um, I've been having a, a hell of a few days, and um, this weekend, today is September 10th, Sunday. It's been very emotional. Um, Tupac's death was on September 7th. And um, by him being a Gemini and me just being very, um, his life and his story being very instrumental, especially him predicting his death with the Machiavelli and just being a very intelligent, um, artistic, gifted, creative young man with not only music, but just his whole life. You know, he was political. Um, it, that's been kind of on my mind. And then tomorrow, September 11th. Uh, which, you know, this nation faced a great, uh, uh, the U.S., we faced our first real big, heavy, uh, terrorist, warlike attack. And then with the, my love and prayers and concern to all the people that have been affected by the hurricane, that is being affected by it, you know, you never know what you're going to do or how you're going to respond until it happens to you, you know. I haven't been in any real serious national uh, state of emergency disasters, but I have been in a few. Uh, I was in the big earthquake out here in California, which was in the early, late 80s. I think it was 87, 89. That was pretty scary. Um, and, um, you know, Michigan, Detroit went without water for three days. Um, you know, it was scary because it was right around the Twin Towers. Uh, time I forgot it. I think it was a little bit before that happened. And then there was a lot of panic about what the Arab community, the large Arab community in Detroit, which is Dearborn, Michigan, how we were interacting with the rest of the Arab community after that happened. So, you know, it was tension and a little mayhem. Um, and I don't like to watch the news, you guys, because the fire's there and she's very concerned. And last night I saw the moon, Universal, a global supernatural uh, uh, even in the space you know um, I do think that this hurricane and a lot of the natural disasters we have um, come in for a reason and whether it's to change our spiritual beings as far as humanity like you know I just feel like you know on a real spiritual um, prophetic understanding of these things is that they come in to do away with things that wouldn't normally be done away with. You know what I mean? And so when people say, what about innocent children? And you know, well, I understand why people would be upset about that. But trust me, in the overall big of plan of scheme of things, everything happens for a reason. Um, I don't want to go too deep because I'm like tipping at the iceberg the politics thing. that are going on. Sometimes we need to experience these natural disasters. If you, if you think a little deeper, if you dig a little deeper, yes, everybody's gonna be affected by it, but why they're happening and what people experience personally when they happen, it's for something, you guys. At the end of the day, this is all for something. It's for, for us to sit back individually and think about what these changes will mean when you hear about a family that's being affected or when you lose someone or, you know, what does it really, really mean? Because these are things that are out of our control. And for those that can dig deep, you know, you'll get it. Um, I had a dream maybe about three, four years ago of some tsunamis taking place in the Philippines and some other, you know, uh, parts of countries that I couldn't really understand. But because I could see the people and the way they looked, they were of Pacific Island or Asian descent. And it was really bad. It scared me because I saw the water, how it build and just like, you know, like in one swap. And water is the most powerful element on this earth. And what ended up happening was later on, I saw sex trafficking. I saw women and children who had been enslaved in apartment buildings that were used for sex trafficking. I saw um, children being uh, literally eaten alive by rats and in roach infested places. And so when the tsunami came in, it just kind of leveled out these places where um that they considered you know not human which is crazy to me as a 
person who believes in the human spirit of every individual person now. You know, I'm, I gotta put some deodorant on, it's hot. I must have left the house without it. Damn. Y'all know I gotta leave some deodorant in the car, you know, from them, from them, uh, I wasn't supposed to stay that long night. You know how I go. Toothbrush, deodorant, all that shit. But I do want everybody to know that they are in my, oh Lord, Jesus, they are in my heart, in my spirit, in my prayers. And I, I'm gonna start working on the sex session next week. All right, y'all, y'all be cool. Stay prayed up. That's all.